Hello Leos! So this was to be your first half of the month reading, but today's already the 8th, so I'm going to do sub bi-weekly, but I'm going to start it from today until the 22nd. Um, I'm going to first start it with the Romance Angel and the Capra Dog. Let's see. So anyway, it's going to be a four card spread. What's going to happen? And Leo's love life for October the 8th until the 21st. Religious factors. Universe going to be different cards. Getting to know each other. I feel like you might connect with a mutable sign. Uh, Sagittarius strongly or a Gemini, Virgo, or Pisces. Universe going to be different cards. Retreat. And codependency. <laughs> Healing from issues. Okay, um, so I feel <laughs> this is going to pertain to the single such here, uh, such here, single um, Leos. Um, you're going to be connecting with somebody and you may feel like, okay, um, I don't want to connect with this person anymore. <laughs> you may feel like this person's clingy, okay, which is, is opposite of, um, this is different than such here's energy that I'm getting, but I do see that. Some of you guys have a moon massage, okay. Um, so it could be like a Pisces more so. Let's see. Also with family, um, I feel like you guys are just kind of like not, because, you know, Leos are very giving. So I feel like a lot of you guys are kind of like wanting to not be super giving to one family member that's not really appreciative. Okay. That's what I'm seeing as well. Like you're making sure you maintain those boundaries. See. Universe, give me a five card, I mean a four card spread. What's going to happen? And Leo's love life. October the eighth. Expectations. Universe marriage. Universe giving to my cards. Coffin and I mean pathway in reverse. Universe giving me my card. And message. Coffin. Okay, yeah. So all right, this is what I'm getting. When it comes to love for the single Leos, because here's what I'm picking up on single Leos who are dating. Um, you're going to be connecting with somebody. You may say, oh, okay, this person look good on paper. They look good in person. Um, but it's like when you connect with them, you may feel like, okay, this is somebody who's totally different. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Like they're not really matching what you want in a person. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. So the more that you get to know them, it's like the more you feel like there's there's nothing there. Okay. Um, now with family, I feel like somebody is like is needing your help. Okay, um, but probably there's tension there. Okay, but it's like you you're helping, but it's like the same time it's like you want to create boundaries. Okay, probably this is someone who is abusive emotionally abusive okay or is this someone who like to um use you okay that's what i'm getting let's see let's see what else i'm getting Give me a four card spread. Playful. Give it to me through my cards. Belonging. Give it to my cards. And what is this? Hope. That's your energy here. And deceit. Yeah, so reminder. Okay, so I feel like the universe wants you. Yeah, this is applying for single Leos who are dating. The universe wants you to remember past lessons from previous relationship and connections. Take those lessons while you are dating, okay? Also, the universe wants you to just see the person clearly for who they are. Don't don't think they're better than so and so. Don't think they're less than so and so, okay? Like not keeping your expectation high with 
one particular person like keeping your expectation high when it comes to your love life but when it comes to a person don't think like okay like don't like don't like just see them for who they are basically <laughs> okay be neutral to the situation okay that's what i'm trying to say so you see what else i'm getting So universe, give me a five card spread. What's going to happen in Leo's love life for October the 8th to the 21st, 2021, Six of Pentacles. Okay. Nine of Swords. Universe, give me three red cards. What's going to happen in Leo's love life for October the 8th to the 21st, Eight of Pentacles. Universe, give me two red cards. Nine of Wands in first. Universe, give me one more card. Hang on. There you go. Okay, so here's picking up on another energy. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so I got two energy from here. Some of you guys, you are reconnecting with a past person. This doesn't necessarily need to be romantic. This could be a friend, okay? You're giving a friend another chance. A friend that was like, who did he wrong? This person was shy. See, you're giving that person another chance. Now, it could be with love, too. You're giving someone another chance. Now, the other way it can go is that I see you dating, okay? Um, you may feel like this person's similar to you. However, like, the more you get to know them, the more, like, you're thinking, like, okay, this person is not really lining up to who I want to be with um, long term, okay? Um, but you're still trying to see where things are going. You're still being open, Okay, so I would say if this person's really showing red flags, just like don't be emotionally invested. Keep your options open, okay? You see what else I'm getting? Universe cover right through your cups. The moon. Universe cover the moon. Seven of Wands in reverse. Also, with this, if this is a newer connection and you're getting to know them, they might have somebody else on the side, okay? So the universe wants you to be... Um, you know, just get the information, get the tea on them, look through their social media, um, check to see if they're married. Universe, clarify the hangman. King of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Cups in reverse. So I, I feel like with this person, this person's not really honest. Universe, clarify the Nine of Wands in reverse. Hermit in reverse. Universe, clarify the Hermit in reverse. King of Cups. Universe, clarify King of Cups. Page of Pentacles. So that's applying to the Leos who's giving someone when they pass a chance. You guys trying to see where things go, but you already see there's going to be some hiccups again in the future. So, Universe, go for the Eight of Pentacles. Five of Swords in reverse. Universe, give me. Okay. King of Wands in reverse. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So, Leo, if you are dealing with somebody from your past, that was not really worth your time okay but you think about dealing with them again i feel like this person gonna be wasting your time even more okay so just be aware of that okay but to see like you guys trying to make things work but it's like it's it's getting like at a standstill it's getting the energy's building resistance okay um when it comes to dating someone else dating someone new i feel like the universe wants you to just be aware so look through their social media check their check to see if they're married and stuff like that to see what's really good because i see there was or there is potential but something is like off and it could be because right now we're in retrograde season so that happens a lot um especially when you want to start a new connection during retrograde it's like it probably doesn't fully start this season yet this phase yet okay if it's clear for nine swords five of cups Universe clarify five of cups. Six swords emperor. Some of you guys, um oh I see what's going on. So I feel like there is somebody from your past. Okay, this is okay. I thought that was you. I thought this was Leo. I said no. <laughs> I said, Leo, don't do that. Okay. So this is not you. This is someone from your past, the ex. Okay. A ex regret treating you a certain type of way. And they're reaching out. They know that they're going to look stupid reaching out to you. But they're going to still try to reach out to you. Okay. This person is an Aries or Taurus. Okay. That person is going to be reaching out to you. Um, 
or this this is the energy that you're um, coming forward with. They're trying to be direct, even though they know they're going to look dumb. Universe Club, Six of Pentacles. If it's clever, six of pentacles, not a wands or a sword. Damn, what the hell, fool. Yeah, I wouldn't, like, to be honest, going back to Leo again, if this reading's resonating with you, I, I, like, it's not worth it. This person is, like, not ready to really commit, not really offer what, not really offer you something, like, stable, okay? So it's not worth you investing your energy, your time, okay? Mm -mm, okay that's what i would say so this person is like a hell to the all okay <laughs> wow okay so i feel like somebody's gonna be reaching out to you um they're gonna look stupid they know that but they're gonna be reaching out to you i feel like with them they're going through stuff they're not even ready to be in a relationship this person might be going through stuff emotionally okay that's what i'm getting so the sign, it could be a water sign or Aries or Taurus. You see what else I'm getting. Universe, give me a four card spread. So there is monk nun. Universe, give me three more cards. Okay, there is student. There's Don Juan. There's sabotagery. And also Chan Wounded. Yeah, I feel like this is someone who's like, they try to appear like they're a player or they're a great catch, but in reality, they're not. Okay. They are very sensitive. Okay. Um, they are very emotional as well and they need to work on themselves. Yeah, it's like this person don't do their inner work, okay? Like, this person might be really in a high position, you know, they have everything materialistically, but they don't do their own healing, okay? Universe, give me a three card spread. What messages do you have for Leo? So there's Coffin. Universe, give me two more cards. Okay, then there is cassette yeah, this is past. and copy copy. Yeah, they want to see if you're interested. Okay, um, ascending, but you guys level up. Okay, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, prepare for union, endings, renew beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition out into thinking, conditioning, you're playing events over your head. This is them. Okay, um, meaning, conversing, serving the moment, and feeling uplifted and friendship. This is, I feel like you guys are just moving forward. Okay. If you guys are kind of confused, I would say think about how this person um, how this person was to you before. Okay, think about that and like see like hmm, is this person worth your time again, your energy? There's the tower, those chakra. Yeah, they're gonna randomly communicate with you, randomly appear. Okay, but they're something's going on with the base chakra i feel like they're not really ready for that okay universe clap for the truth okay i feel like this person always did want to i feel like they always wanted to be with you but at the same time it's like probably they was insecure they probably felt like you was like out of their league or something let's see what else i'm getting Universe, give me a five card spread. So I might name this. Well, this was random, okay, because I do see a random person coming through. So Gates of Trumpet, success, expanding your life, okay. Blue Moon, believe in the impossible. You and your loved ones are safe. New Moon, Cancer, okay. Let's look at. Let me pull two more cards. Universe, give me two more cards. So there's so many. So let's see here. Work through your fears, the Moon and Scorpio. Again, I was getting water. Um, it could be a water sign. Yeah, it could be a Scorpio too as well. Universe. Um, show the world the rule you for more Aquarius. We do need to release when the moon conclusions are within reach. Okay, Jenna energy surrender to divine. Yeah, I feel like you've been like over this connection. Okay. So 
Let's see what else I'm getting. Let's look at. Let's look at the um, angel answers. Universe, give me a four card spread. Well, that's just you have for Leo. So there is choosing new direction, helpful people, and forgiveness. Yeah, so if you haven't forgiven this person, I feel like the universe wants you to forgive this person and you're ready to move forward. We get more information. Again, I feel like the universe wants you to get more information about this person. So either this past person that's resurfacing or even a new person, okay? Um, get more information about them. See what's good on their social media check to see if they're married to someone okay let's see what else i'm getting okay universe give me a two card spread one let's just see you have so there's path awareness if i sincerely ask i'm always guided back to the right path for me and my central purpose universe give me one more card Okay, so anger is a sacred alley and power support. Okay, probably when you find out the truth about this person, it's really going to make you angry, okay, or frustrated. But the universe wants you to just let that situation go. It's like lesson learned. I listen to the messages within my anger and use it as a positive force for good and a power support, okay? I'm grateful for all the love and support I receive. It's the most precious of this gift, okay? So I feel like this is more about... Whoever, it could be someone else relaying the information back to you. Um, the universe wants you to take it like with, like they're trying to have pure intentions with that, okay? Service as co-creation. My service, no matter how, how great or small, is a conscious act of co-creation with the world. Yeah, so I feel like what the universe is trying to say, whatever this person is doing, especially when it comes to the past, okay? Um, how they treated you, it doesn't reflect who you are as a person. Also you treating them well or good you're gonna get that good karma back okay so you need to worry about that okay so uh, that's the reading that i have for you leos okay and it could be a friend as well um you can flip it just take out the love and romance out of it it could be a friend okay but thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing if this video resonates you can definitely book a person with me at queenbitterro at gmail.com